Okay, so what I'm about to show you now is a Corel Painter hack. Uh, or maybe it's not a hack. It's something that should be common knowledge uh, with the software, but I never hear anyone talking about it. So uh, I'm going to show you and let you see what you think. Okay, so what I'm about to show you right now, I think it's one of the coolest things about Corel that I have not seen up to this point in any other application. Okay, so I'm going to record this from different angles so you can really see what it is that we have going here. So first thing is this. I have three different pins, right? Different types. Here's just a classic pin. This is actually your basic pin, but I bought this uh, handle, and I'll talk about that later on in another video. Um, this is an arc pin. Now, what's great about this, and it, what's really unique, is that this one is a different type of pin altogether, but what I want you to notice is if I'm holding these pins, okay, and I have them mounted up on the side of my Cintiq, up on the top corner, I put these little pin holders that you can get from Office Depot. Um, if it's something that you're interested in, I'll put some links so you can see where to get them. But, but this is, again, let me just show you what's really cool about this. If I pick, for example, a real 2B pencil, okay? So I could pick this pencil, and let's say I have it and I'm using blue, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is put that away. I'm gonna come over here, and maybe I'm gonna use this tool with a scratch work tool, okay? So it looks like more pen and ink, all right? So now I'm using the scratch work tool. So now I'm gonna use the art pen and I'm gonna pick just a different tool. So let's just say I'm using oil pastel. Okay. So you'll notice with oil pastel, actually let's make sure it's a really uniquely different color. So I could have this as red. Now what's great about Corel is I can put this one away and I wanna go back to my pencil, okay, which I was using before it switches back to the real 2B pencil and it keeps its color. So I could put this one back, pick up a different pen, and it goes to my scratch board inking tool. I could take this, attach it right back to my tablet, pick up this oil pastel, which I have set to the um, art pen. What's even cooler is that these by default work as the eraser. But if you want it to, you can take this and pick a different tool. So let's say I have um, detail acrylic and maybe this one will be purple, okay? So the back of this is now a different tool. The front is a different brush, okay? I could put this back go right back to my pencil and start using this for something. Now, that's pretty awesome. It's very intuitive. I have it sitting right here. I usually have, well, I have four of these set up here. Uh, right now, I have three. The other one's in my bag because I teach on site, so I like to take my pens with me. Um, but that in itself um, is one reason you may want to consider using Corel if you have it really fantastic also um that's why you would consider buying an extra pin or two now you don't need to buy all those pins i personally uh have them because again i teach on site and i use them for different reasons um, and i also set up the tips of the pins to give me different responses so it's really important for me to have that fluidness and make it feel like real paint it just makes everything so much faster so this is definitely something I want you to think about um, utilizing with uh, your Wacom tablets and Corel Painter. Uh, you can't do this in Photoshop, you can't do this in Clip Studio um, or Sketchbook or anything else at this point. Uh, there might be another application that I don't know of, but in the meantime, uh, this definitely is a, a plus in the Corel Painter category.
If you enjoyed that one, please go ahead, hit subscribe, hit the bell button down below uh, so you can stay up to date with everything that's going on here with digital painting tips. This is Robert Revels, out.